Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So once we have finished all the commands here, I hope you are very clear with all these commands and you can apply it on your real projects. Now I'll come to this project, this particular options. Okay, that is the alignment option. So if you see this particular uh, chart, you can see everything is not, I mean, it's not looking good, isn't it? You can see few names have come in the middle. Few names are um, on the left side. Few names are on the right side. Few names on the left side. Even the numbers are not properly aligned, right? Some now let us say tomorrow you're working in some project and somebody sent you an Excel sheet, and it's not looking good. No, it's not easy for me to identify. See, Mayank Sharma roll number is here. Marx has come here. So Rithik Soni is somewhere here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm I'm gonna do a proper alignment. Like you can see the alignment. What I've done? All the numbers are in straight line. Or whatever stuff I've written it here, they are in the center line. So how do you do that? Very simple. So you can see all these options here. No, these options are meant for that. So what is written here? It is written align left. That means everything will be on the left side. The second option what we have is center. So everything will be center like this. If this is the width of your row, whatever is the center of your row, no, that alignment will happen. And the last one what we have is align right. That means something like this. Everything will be on the right side. So what I'll do? I'll make it very nice. So what I'm gonna do? I'll just select all these things. You just select this, you select all the uh, stuff what you have in your table. I selected everything. And now what I'll do, I'll click on the anything you can click. Okay, I'll go with the center because I want to keep at the center. I click on center. So what has happened, even though I clicked on center, few of the people, the student name has gone to the left, uh, roll number has gone to the right, the total has gone to the right. Again, I'll click on this. Now you can see everything has come to the center. So now this is in a proper alignment and it looks good also finish so this is how you can do the alignment of your uh, text what you are written now let us say you don't want the names of the students to be at the center so only you select this part only i select this part and now i'll keep them at the extreme left that means this is my align left so you can see all the names has gone to the left suppose if you feel no left i don't want i want to keep at the right you come to here keep on the right side so everything will be on the right side but it doesn't look good the left is a good thing what you can keep. So you can keep something like this. Got it, no? So that is how practically tomorrow you get any projects. Like you see here, all these things I have done it. So you can see all the number and all. I kept it exactly at the center. These are my quantity estimation Excel sheets. Okay. So this is how we have done. So in this way, uh, you can make use of this alignment. You can see align left, align middle and align right. Suppose if I want this material, this material is exactly at the center. I want to bring at the left. So I'll click on this. I'll say align left. So it will come to the left side, but it doesn't look good, isn't it? So again, I'll click on that. I'll keep at the center. You're getting my point. So in this way, you can try to play with all these uh, three options. And it is very important because tomorrow, if you're submitting your Excel sheet to someone, it should look good, right? So the moment he sees that he should feel like, uh, uh, he should feel like uh, he's interested to go through that. So that is the reason what you do. You try to align all these things. You can see everything I've done in this way. Got it? So this is the practical application of that. So these things I've covered. Now we'll go to the next part. That is one, two, and three. So in order to understand this for that, I think that cannot be applied here. Okay. So what I'll do, let us say I want, I'll go with the next option. So that is a wrap text and merge and center. Okay. So, so first I'll go with the merge and center option. That is this one, merge and center. So I'll go with the practice sheet too. I'll write something here. I'll write a big sentence here. Okay. Uh, I am loving this excel course got it i'm loving this excel co course whatever i've written here no you can see that in the formula bar it has come here okay okay let me let me let me add something i lo i'm loving this excel course and uh, i am able to follow this in better way okay so i wrote a very long sentence so now what has happened since I've written a long sentence, you can see the difference. Half of the sentence is coming in F row. I mean in F column and half of the sentence has gone in the G column, but it's not looking good, isn't it? This is not what I wanted. I want everything to come in a single line. So in that case, what you do, you select this thing in this way. You can see option here, merge and center. You just click on this. So what it has done, it has merged. You can, like, I'll show you the difference. See, before that, before it was something like this. You can see one uh, cell here. This was my second cell. It was not looking good. So what I'll do, I'll select like this. 
and I'll say merge and center. Now what has happened? Everything has come in a single line. So this is the application of merge and center. So now where do you app, uh, put this into application? So this is where the application happens. So if you can see here, all these things I've written name, name of the work, name of the project and all. So this is where the application comes or let us say, yeah, uh, let me do one thing. Uh, okay. You can see here, right? So I've written ground floor plus yeah, I'll, I'll just go with the, yeah, you can see here, you can see the application of that. I'll say merge and center. Yeah. Suppose if I write it here, it will be in this way. Okay. So what I did, I selected everything and then I told merge and center. Now what has happened? This entire thing got is acting like a single cell and exactly at the center it is coming. Okay. So if you want, I'll do it here. I'll write something here. I'll write a uh, bill of quantities. Okay. Wait, let me go with this. I'll write here. Uh, welcome to this wonderful as excel course okay this is what i've written but i want this to come in a very better uh, way so what i'll do i'll select this part like this in this way all the cells i'll select okay and i'll say merge at center now what has happened is entire thing is one cell for me this were the individual cells now this entire thing is one cell but again i'll make it more better i'll select this okay whatever we learned so far now we'll we'll do the, we'll put the application of that so i'll make it bold so it got bold now i'll change the font font I'll keep this one or I'll keep the uh, different font uh, I'll keep this font or I'll keep this okay and anything is okay I'll go with this font okay this is done now I'll increase the size you take this option you keep on clicking on this okay wonderful spelling is wrong okay wonderful okay now again you see this is my end again I'll give a thick border to that I'll go with this okay I'll say thick outside border okay now it's looking good isn't it but again you see this is the entire cell what I have, but whatever I've written is at the bottom. I want this to come at the center. So now this particular option, what you have now, this one, this will be handy now. Click on this. So it will be aligned in the middle. Suppose if you don't want at the middle, you want at the top. Again, select this, come here, say top align. So either you keep it at the top or you select on this here or you come to the third option. It will be like this. So always try to keep in the middle, but if you are good, uh, like if you feel like you should keep at the top, you can keep at the top. Okay. So this particular three options, what we have, it comes handy only when we go with a merge and center. So that is the reason when you saw my first course, I mean, yeah, this is what I had done initially. It's not here. No problem. I think, uh, yeah, it's not there. The first video, if you had seen mine. Yeah, this one. So this is how it was created. Welcome to this amazing course. No? It was created by using the same logic. I converted all the cell and made it uh, in a single cell. Okay. Same thing. You can do it. So these are the application of that. And now if you want, uh, you keep it at the center. Okay. And then if you want, you uh, can put some color to that. I'll give a color, whatever application, whatever things we understood so far, we'll do the application of that. And this also I'll change to red color. Okay. And if you want, you can give fine. Then decrease the size. So this is how a merge and center uh, command has to be used. So practically wherever you do any Excel sheets here, everywhere I've done the same thing. Okay. So merge and command is what I've done. So when we, I was creating this Excel sheet, all the things what you can see here at the top here, so it has been here. The same command has been used. You can see merge at center. All these things I used merge and center and I've done it. Okay. So this is how all these things are done. So try to practice it wherever you want. You can apply the merge and center command and you can try to do that. And the last one, what we have is a wrap track, wrap text. So what is this wrap text? For example, I'll write something here and go with this. Okay. I'll teach you on this part only. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, re I'll, I'll do one thing. Okay. I'll just write this few more words here. David, uh, Kanwar Lal. And I'll write a uh, uh, very good student, very good student. Okay. So now what has happened? Uh, it is coming like this, but I don't want to increase the width of this. This I don't want to increase. Okay. This will be this much only, but what has happened? This very good student. It is not visible here. So what you ha what we can do is I I'll just select on this and I'll go with wrap text. So you can see what has happened. 
whatever row height you had, no, it got increased automatically. Again, I'll do control Z. So I want this to be shown correctly, but I don't want to increase the width of this. This width, I don't want to increase. So in that case, what you do is select here, go to the option called as wrap text. So click on that. Now you can see David Conway is a very good student and it has come. What it has done, this particular row height, what we have, no, it has increased. Similarly, if you want to do it here, Mohammed Sadan is an average student. Okay. So again, that student, let us say, even I found to decrease like this. So it's not showing, you know, click on this, save wrap text. So again, you can see. So in this way, you can try to find the application of this wrap text. Merge center also you can do, but it's not required here. So uh, now coming to the application part, whatever things we have done here, I think uh, I'll show you a few things where we have done that application. Yeah. So if you see here, I've written all these things before bar along shorter span. So here all the things, whatever we have written is through this wrap text. So what I've done, I've written something, then I've gone for the wrap text and I've uh, put the application of that. Similarly here, yeah, you see here, I'll, I'll give the application here. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll just increase this first. So you see the dia of the bar I've written in mm, but I don't want such a big, you know, uh, what you call width of the column because diameter of bar is only two digit for two digit. What can I do? This much small is enough for me, right? This much small is enough. So first I'll not. Okay. So this much small width is enough, but the moment I reduce the width of this, this entire thing is not visible. So I'll click on this and I'll say wrap text. Now you see this is how it is coming. So whatever I've written here, the spacing, the number of bar cutting length, or whatever things I've written here. So all this is the application of the wrap text. Got it. No? So tomorrow you may be doing something. Someone told you to prepare an Excel sheet. Okay. Someone told you to prepare one Excel sheet, something like this. I can do it here also. Yeah. Uh, let us say this is another Excel sheet. What I've created. We'll use all these things in a later part. I'll just reduce all these things. This width I'll reduce. Okay. This width I'll reduce. This width also I'll reduce. Okay. This width also I'll reduce. This width also I'll reduce. This width also I'll reduce. Fair. See, now let us say you have a restriction. You cannot increase the width. This much width is enough for you. But whatever you are written, like railway project, building, but it's not properly visible. Say water supply project. In that case, what I do, I'll select on this. I'll say wrap text. Now you can see it has increased the row height. Again, I'll select here. I'll say wrap text. So instead of doing one, instead of picking each of the cell, select like this, go to the wrap text, finish. Now again, select this, go to the wrap text once again. Okay, wrap text. And now you can do the proper alignment. Now you can see, see, we can take it to the top or you can bring them at the center or maybe at the extreme bottom this way. So go with the center, it will look good. So we did not increase the width of the row, uh, yeah, sorry, width of the column, but somehow we try to adjust this particular font within that with the help of a wrap text. Okay. So merge, merge and center is whenever you want to merge any two columns, you can go with the merge and center option. Okay. So I think uh, merge and center, let me, if you want, I can give you an application of merge and center also. So uh, let us say, yeah, merge and center. Yeah. So merge and center, we have seen the application here. Like I've written a development length. If you want, I'll, I'll delete it. Okay. So I'll write here. I'll write here development length. De development length. Okay. Now what has happened? See, okay. I, I'll reduce this width. Okay. I reduce the width of this. Okay. Anyhow, it has got merge only. Okay. And merge. Fine. So you can see the development length here, isn't it? But it has got two columns. One, this is column. This is the second column. So instead of that, I'll select this. You can see two columns, one column, two column. So select both the column and say merge at center. Now what has happened? No? You can see only one cell. Here you have one and one. I mean two different cells you have here. But here it has been put in a single cell. But again, it's not properly visible. If you don't have a restriction, you increase the width of this. Suppose if they say, suppose if you want, if you don't increase the width, but somehow you have to accommodate this particular thing, then select this, go to the wrap text. Okay, now it's not done. No? Okay, it's not visible. In that case, if it's not possible, then you have to increase the width only. Else, there is an option. You don't have to increase. You can uh, increase this particular part. It will be seen. I mean, you go here, development length. Then you can drag it here. So you can see it will look like this, development length. 
okay so it all depends on you how you want to use all these things got it so it totally depends on you how you want to use all these things based on that you can try to uh, do all these things so i think most of the commands whatever initially we are requiring we have seen like merge command wrap text command is also done yeah next uh, lecture will go with this particular command anyhow yeah uh, i'll be covering this uh, this command here itself or uh, let me yeah so i'll be covering this particular commands in the next lecture this is about the text and all how we want the text to happen and one more thing remember anyhow i'll co cover it in the later part also whenever you write numbers and all when you decrease the width of your row it will show a hash okay number if you select here the number is shown here but right now it's not visible so in that case always you have to increase the width so the moment i increase the width all my numbers are visible see here only few numbers are visible because these numbers are accommodated within the width of this column but since this number are larger compared to this number it's not visible so in that case you don't have to worry you just increase the size of the you increase the width of your column it is clearly see, visible same problem here increase the width so usually such problem occurs when you copy something for example if i go here like i told you last time where is my rate analysis yeah yeah so if i gone to this uh, rate analysis i copied something from here right let us say i copy i'll copy like this all these things i'll say control c and i'll paste it somewhere here okay i'll paste it here paste it here so it will look something okay in this in this case it is okay here what you do just increase the width of all these things okay rest all things will look good so here that problem will not come when you're copying a large number that will happen okay anyhow let me copy the same number from here i'll show you the application of that let us say I copied some numbers from here. This particular thing I'm copying. So what I'll do, I'll select, I'll say control C and I'll go to the sheet number two here. Let us say sheet number three and I'll paste it here. So the moment I paste, you see, none of the numbers are visible. So you don't have to panic. You just come here, increase the width of this. So this is properly seen. Now you increase the width of this, increase the width of this, increase the width of this and then increase the width of this. Few numbers are not visible. So just increase the width of this. So all your problems will be solved. So I hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here. So at least now 5% of Excel we have covered. We understood this entire uh, font option. We understood about the alignment option. This another small part is left out. We'll try to cover that in the next lecture. So once this is done, then we'll go with the other options like what is conditional formatting. It's a very interesting tool what we have, conditional formatting. We'll be shocked after you know uh, understanding how the conditional formatting works. This is where the real application of Excel. Right now we are just uh, very basic stuff we are looking into. But if you want to see the real magic of Excel, then it comes when we understand the conditional formatting and when we try to apply different formulas, when we try to do the addition, subtraction, multiplication. Uh, okay, all these things we have, all these things have created through uh, Excel only, where we get all the ready-made answers and all. So as we move forward, we'll try to cover all these things. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you. <laughs>